Lieutenant Colonel Liam Cronin, MBA, will now present awards to paratroopers of I to I to honor the two. Our first award is the Free Parachute Selection Award. This award is made to the recruits who produced the best performance on the Peak Company Test Week. The winner of the Pre-Parachute Selection Award for 8 to 8 Honor for 2 is Private Rob. Second award is the Absalon Trophy, which incorporates Director of the Infantry Medal. The Absalon Trophy is named in remembrance of Private Richard Absalon, who was killed in the attack on Mount London during the Falklands campaign. It is awarded to the best rifle shot in the platoon, and the winner from 8 to 8 on the platoon is Private Bob. Bateman Trophy. The Bateman Trophy is named after Lance Corporal J. Bateman of the 2nd Battalion who was killed in Afghanistan on the 12th of June 2008 during Operation Harry Gate. This trophy is awarded to the recruits who achieved the best results during weapon handling, range work and field firing involving the general purpose machine gun during the combat infantryman's course. The champion GPMG gunner for 8 to 8 Arnold Platoon is Private Pashby. Presented by Colonel T. A. Marsh, who commanded the depot of the Poetry Regiment from 1987 to 1989. It is awarded to the recruit who has shown the most endeavour whilst on the combat infantryman's course. On this occasion, the Endeavour Prize for 8 to 8 on for 2 is awarded to Private Rolls. Trophy, which incorporates the director of infantry champions and is awarded to our champion recruits. The Beard Trophy is named in remembrance of Warren's officer Walter Beard, who lost his life at Warren Point in Northern Ireland. It is awarded for the best all-round performance by a parachute regiment recruit on the combat infantryman's course. The winner of Champion Recruit Award for 8 to 8 Island Platoon is Private Ben.
what manner of men. 828 Ar Arnhem Platoon, it's a great privilege as your regimental lieutenant colonel of the Parachute Regiment to welcome you into our regiment today. And I also welcome your families and friends who I know are immensely proud of each and every one of you. Within an hour or so, you'll be soldiers in the British Army and will represent the Parachute Regiment in everything that you do from this moment on. You're the latest members in an exceptional regiment whose selection process, traditions, and fighting prowess are renowned across the globe. From this day on, everyone will look at you slightly differently, and they will rightly expect more of you because you are now paratroopers. Today on parade, we have 13 exceptional young men who have undergone a significant physical and mental transformation in order to be standing here in front of us today. Your platoon originally formed up with nearly 50 recruits, and of those 50, there are just five of those originals remaining here. And we also have two junior soldiers that started in, in Harrogate. A number of you have persevered through injury and have been here a significant amount of time. In fact, one that we just met a second ago was here almost for two years. Those statistics, they're testament to the arduous nature of the combat And most importantly, they demonstrate the determination that every single one of you have proved beyond doubt that you absolutely are men apart. This morning, your champion recruit recited the famous words of Field Marshal, the Vice Count Montgomery of Alamein. They described the British paratrooper then as you are today. His words sum up the qualities expected of every officer. And As a paratrooper, you must be prepared for and expect to be outnumbered in battle. For it is there in the banner battle where it is the most dangerous. That is where your duty lies. You join a regiment with a rich history formed just over 80 years ago. It was formed during the height of the Second World War. Our forebears earned a reputation that is second to none in battles that they fought in North Africa, the Far East, and Europe. Fast forward, and 40 years ago, little change. Two and three para sailed to the Falklands and fought in battles at Goose Green, Mount London, and Wilder's Creek. 15 years ago, soldiers from all four of the parachute battalions were deployed in Afghanistan and Iran fighting on a daily basis for months on end. And last year, paratroopers again from all the battalions were deployed in Afghanistan, helping with the extraction of British personnel and our allies from Kabul. You're standing on the shoulders of giants, and I'm 100% confident that you will live up to their exceptionally high operational standards. Just as they succeeded in the past, so too will you succeed in every operational task that you are set in the future. I'd like to take this opportunity to say thank you to your staff. And I make that on behalf of the Parachute Regiment, but also on behalf of your friends and your family who are sat here watching me today. So many thanks to the training team led by Lieutenant Ali Matson, Sergeant Jones, Cork Fry, Stranati, Duffy, Reedman, Reed, and Campbell. You, the training team, you are some of the regiment's best MTOs and officers. And your professionalism and immense efforts have delivered 13 of the best trained, most capable soldiers that the British Army now possesses. You've set these young paratroopers up for success in their future careers and every one of them and the regiment owes you a debt of gratitude. I must also say thank you to the staff of Power Company HQ who under Major James Metcalf previously and now Tony McGrain worked tirelessly, tirelessly to help get the recruits through training. And now finally, or nearly finally, um, I'd like to just say thank you to you all, friends and family, to the 13 men that are here in front of us. You have nurtured them up to the point that they joined the Army and the Parachute Regiment, and I'm sure, I hope, you've seen a lot of changes over the last few years.
few months while they've been with us. And I'd also say that whatever comes in the future in their careers, both in, in the army and out of the army, I'm sure you'll all be there to help them through whatever challenges they face. Uh, I'm afraid that whether you like it or not, uh, the Parachute Regiment is a broad and great family, and you are now friends, family, and you are now part of it, whether you like it or not. Uh, and you can see at the front, it's great to see former members of the Parachute Regiment, our veterans from the Parachute Regiment Association. Um, we absolutely, the regiment, live by the words, but once a paratrooper, always a paratrooper. So, welcome to our family. take you under their wings and look after you. Never forget the lessons that you've learned from your staff while you've been here at Power Company. Wherever you serve from today, remember that people will look at you different. You are now paratroopers and everyone will rightly expect more of you. I'm absolutely confident that the, rep the reputation of our great regiment will all say that in the future. You drink great pride. of the Parachute Regiment and Airborne Forces. May the defence of the Most High be above and beneath, around and within us, in our going out and in our coming in, in our rising up and in our going down, through all our days and all our nights, until the dawn, when the Son of Righteousness shall arise with healing in his wings for the peoples of the world. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And now, may the blessing of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, rest upon and remain with you and those whom you love, now and forever. Amen. Thank you. 